Magandang araw po muli at isang bagong pagkatuto na naman po para sa ating Mathematics 9. Isang magandang araw po sa mga estudyante po ng Tansahay. Sa quarter 2 week 7, ang aaralin naman po natin ay multiplication and division of radicals. So, isa-separate po natin yung dalawang yon sa dalawang videos. Unahin po natin ang multiplication of radicals. Then, yung susunod na video ay hanapin nyo naman po kung paano naman po ang division of radicals. So, simulan po natin. Paano nga ba natin i-divide ay yung ating mga radical expressions? So, sa multiplication of radicals natin, meron tayong dalawang uri. Multiplication with the same index or multiplication with different indices. Simulan natin sa pag-multiply ng kapag magkapareho ang index. So, we are given here with 4 square root of 5 times your 6 square root of 3. So, sa case pong ito, kung meron po tayong n root of a multiply to n root of b, it will just be equal to the n root of a times b. So, ibig sabihin, i-multiply lang po natin yung radikan. So, sa case pong ito, so, multiply mo na po natin yung number sa labas. So, 4 times 6, that is 24. Then, you multiply the radikan, 4 times 3, so, 4 square root of 15. And this is already your final answer. So, ganun lang pong gagawin. So, limbawa, meron pa po tayong 3 cube root of 2 times 5 cube root of 3. So, multiply lang po natin yung number muna sa labas. So, 5 times 3, 15, 2 times 3. So, cube root of 6. So, ganda lang po yung gagawin po natin. So, paano pag may involve po variables? So, we have here 5y cube root of 2y times 10y to the 4th cube root of 12y squared. So, multiply mo na po natin yung dalawa. 5y and 10y to the 4th. So, 5y times 10y to the 4th. So, pakita natin yun. So, yung 5y muna times yung 10y to the 4th. Then, sa separate natin yung cube root of 2y times your 12y squared. So, yun po yun. So, 5 times 10, we have 50. Then, y to the 4th times y, that's y to the 5th power. Cube root of, so 2 times 12, 24 y times y squared, that's y cube. Ayun, tapos na po ba yan, ma'am? Hindi. So, hindi tayo matatapos kung hindi pa nakasimplify yung ating radikan. So, sa case na to, pwede pa nating isimplify yung ating radikan. Okay? So, paano po natin ulit simplify? So, copy muna natin si 50y to the fifth power. Okay? Cube root of Pwede natin i-factor sa 24 sa perfect cube niya, which is 8, then times 3. Si y cube is a perfect cube na. Pwede natin siya ilabas mamaya. So, equals. So, 50y to the 5th. Ang cube root ng 8 ay 2. At ang cube root ng y cube ay y. Kasi di-divide natin, di ba? At ang natira na lang sa loob ay 3. Saka natin ngayon i-multiply itong dalawa. At ang magiging final answer natin ay 50 times 2, 100, then y to the 5th and y, that's y to the 6th, cube root of 3. Ito na yung final answer. So, hindi tayo titigil hanggat hindi pa din nakasimplify yung ating final answer. Apply pa rin natin dito yung ating simplification. How about the next one? Ano yung variable sa loob? So, same thing lang din. So, multiply natin. So, 5 times 10. So, katulad lang din po kanina. Dinagdagan lang natin yung variable. So, 10y to the 5th cube root of 2 times 12, 24. Then, x times x to the 4th, x to the 5th. Then, y cube. So, simplify lang una ulit natin. Ay, 5 times 10. I'm sorry. Yung part na yun. So, this must be 50. Okay. 
So, simplify natin yung ating 24 as 8 times 3. Katulad lang din kanina. Dinagtag lang natin itong x kasi para pag may variable. Ulit. So, x cubed times x squared para mailabas natin yung ating x cubed. Then, y cubed. Then, pag sinimplify natin, 50y to the 5th power, cube root ng 8, 2, cube root ng x cube, x, cube root ng y cube ay y. So, ang natira sa loob ay ang ating 3x squared. So, multiply lang natin itong dalawa. So, 100. Ngayon, meron na tayong x. Then, y to the 6, ang natira lang sa loob ay 3x squared. Ito ang ating final answer. Yan. Sa the next one. Ayan. So, makikita nyo ito sa uh, ating learning task. Paano ba natin ito sasagutan? So, para lang din po siyang distributive property. Distribute lang natin siya sa loob. Sa loob. So, 5 square root of 2 times 10 square root of 3. So, 5 times 10, that is 50. Square root of 2 times square root of 3, that is square root of 6. Then, 5 times negative 8, that's negative 40. 2 times 5, that's 10. And that is already the final answer. So, dinistribute lang natin. Okay, dinistribute lang po natin sa loob. Halimbawa okay. pa po. Negative 2 square root of 3 times 8 square root of 15 plus 2 square root of 12. So, multiply lang po natin sa loob. Negative 2 times 8, that's negative 16. Negative, ay, 3 times 15, that is 45. Then, negative 2 times positive 2, that's negative 4. Then, 3 times 12 is 36. So, yung kanina, hindi na natin sinimplify kasi nakasimplified na yung final answer. So, ngayon kasi, pwede pa natin isimplify yung 45 and 36. So, paano natin isisimplify? Ang 45 ay pwede po sa tama, 9 times 5. Samantalang yung 36 ay perfect square. Ang square root ng 36 ay 6. Ngayon, pag sinimplify natin, negative 16, square root of 9 ay 3. At yun sa loob ay 5. Then, 4 times, 16, 4 times 6 ay 24. Ito naman, 16 times 3, negative 48. Square root of 5 minus 24. Ito na po yung ating final answer. Let's proceed to the next example. Paano naman po natin i-multiply kapag magkaiba ng index or with different indices? So, ang gagawin po natin, isisimplify muna po natin siya into rational exponent. So, pag tinanspon natin siya into rational exponent, ang ating cube root of 2 ay equal sa 2 raised to 1 third. Samantalang yung square root of 5 ay 5 raised to 1 over 2. Paano na ulit dyan? Baka nalimutan po ulit. Ang ating po exponent na 1, yun po ang ating numerator. At ang ating pong index ang magiging denominator. So, ito yung exponent, ito yung index. So, yun po. Kaya naging 1 third, tapos ito naging 1 half. Diba po may automatic po tayong to doon. Ngayon, ano pong gagawin natin pagkatapos po niyan? Kapag tapos po niyan, Hahanapin naman natin ang LCD ng ating index. So, usually, multiply nyo yan. So, 3 times 2, ang LCD nyan ay 6. So, ang gagawin po natin, susulat natin yung LCD nya. So, 2 and 5, ang LCD nya ay 6. Ito ka 6. Ano ko nakuha yun? Manutuplay ko lang. Then, divide nyo lang and then multiply. Ano po yun? 6 divided by 3 ay 2 times 1. 2. Ganun din. So, 6 divided by 2 ay 3 times 1, 3. O kaya naman, in other words, you're going to make them similar fractions. 
gagawin nyo silang similar fractions yung kanilang mga exponents. Ngayon, dahil pareho na yung kanilang mga exponent, yan. Pwede na natin siyang ilagay as one index. Ang index nila ay 6. Ayun po yun. 6. So, 6 root of 2. Ang exponent niya ay 2. Times 5. Ang exponent niya naman ay 3. Then, saka natin isi-simplify. So, this becomes 6 root of 2 squared ay 4 times ang 5 cube natin ay 125. When you simply multiply, 6 root of 4 times 125 is 500. And this is already your final answer. So, 6 root of 500. Yan. Hindi pa tayo ng ibang example. So, gawin ulit natin siyang rational exponent. So, 4 root of 3 is equal to 3 raised to 1 over 4. Ang atin namang cube root of 2 ay 2 raised to 1 third. So, pag minultiply natin yan, ang kanyang maging LCD ay 12. So, kukuha natin yung 12. 12. Then, divide and multiply. 12 divided by 4, 3 times 1 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 1 is 4. Yan. Pag tapos na yan, pwede natin siyang ilagay as 1 index, which is 12. So, this becomes 12 root of 3. Ang kanyang exponent ay 3. Times your 2, which is ang exponent niya ay 4. Pag sinimplify naman natin siya further, okay, pag sinimplify natin yan further, nagiging 12th root of, ang 3 cube ay 3 times 3 times 3, that is 27, times, ang 2 to the 4th natin ay 16. Which is equivalent to, when we multiply this, 12th root of, 432. Yan na po yung ating sagot. Yan. Another example po tayo. Yan. So, we have square root of 3 times the fourth root of 5. So, pag sinulat ulit natin yan. So, 3 raised to 1 half. Parang puro 3 pala yun. Then, 5 raised to 1 fourth. Ito, madaling makita ang LCD nito, 4. So, pag sinulat natin yan, ang gawin natin multiply, ang LCD nyo ay 4. This common denominator is 4. Then, you multiply, you divide and multiply. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1, 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1. So, it's already 1. Index, which is 4, so 4 root of 3 squared times 5 raised to 1. And when we simplify this further, this becomes 4 root of 3 squared by 9 times 5. At ang ating 9 times 5 ay equal sa, very good, 45. At ito ang ating final answer. So, yan po ang gagawin natin sa multiplication. So, paano natin ngayon sasagutan yung ating learning task? Ang sasagutan lang po natin sa learning task, letter B, is itong lahat ng multiply and divide. So, that is number 7, 8, 9, 10. Ang 11 to 15 naman ay division. So, kung mapapansin nyo, si number 7, same index lang yan, 3. So, mamultiply nyo yun lang yung loob. Ganon din sa number 8, multiply nyo lang yung 6 and 2. Sa so number 9 and number 10, is just distributive property. Then, kung kaya nyo pong isimplify, isisimplify further nyo pa. So, ganun lang yung gagawin sa number 7 to 10. For your activity number 7 naman, so you have here sets of something that you have to multiply. So, yung mamultiply nyo lang to number itong R naught 
simply multiply or not, do not, and consider yourself. Ganun din tong each one. Ito, just multiply first 5a and 2a, then multiply the result to 10a. Then, ito namang for people, ang gagawin nyo lang dyan, is just 4 square root of 3a cubed times your 4a square root of 3a cubed. Ganun lang po yan. So, ay, wala tong a. So, multiply nyo lang yung 4 and 4, 3a and 3a. Para makuha nyo yung result. So, yun na, yung and irreplaceable naman Tsaka yung is unique. So, yun. Magkaibang index po yun. Gagamitin nyo yung ginawa natin kapag different indices. So, itong the or, nor, even, equal, distributive property naman po yan. Ito, multiply nyo lang. 5 sa 2, 7 sa 7. Then, you have to find the answers on these boxes. Dalawang box yan. Nasa ilalim pa. Para makuha nyo yung mga answers dito. Yan. So, yun lamang po. Sana natuto po kayo for today para masagutan nyo po yung ating learning task and activity number 7. So, punta po kayo din sa susunod na video para naman po sa ating division of ating radicals.